girl bands. That's what the music industry chooses to call an all-woman rock and roll group. Belittling, yes, but surprising, no. Remember, this is the industry that uses women as sex objects in music videos and on album covers, and that treats women as sexual playthings, groupies. Ironic, isn't it, that male musicians have made a fortune wearing our spandex tights, lace blouses, makeup, and hairspray. It just doesn't seem fair. So to even the odds, I got the assignment. We're calling this one Fox Meets Vixen. has issued a challenge. Many skeptics think there's some record company gimmick and that their music videos were edited to the point of fakery. But you can't fake this. I can't believe I could have been so blind, but love is strange. I thought about it for a long, long time, but the truth remains. What stereotypes about women rock musicians are you sick of hearing about? That um, women can't play rock and roll, period. That's, you know, that's one that's, that's gotta still that's, that's gotta go. <laughs> Vixen's lead singer Janet Gardner would like to say goodbye to sexist stereotypes, and so too would bass player Cher Peterson. She studied jazz at the renowned Berklee School of Music in Boston. I guess the most common thing is, yeah, you guys are good for girls. It's like a compliment handed to you on a knife. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Jan Keeneman on lead guitar, who founded Vixen seven years ago. There was a guy when I was starting out. He was telling his friend, you know, she'll never be able to play like, you know, because she doesn't have, girls don't have the strength in their wrist. <laughs> Classical clarinetist turned drummer, Roxy Petrucci. When you were first approached to join the band, did you hesitate at all? Yeah, I did. Because I'm generally not into all-girl bands, because when I first started playing, me and my sister would audition girls, and they were good at first, but as soon as we said, well, we want to take the band on the road, they completely wimped out. I said, well, no, I can't leave my boyfriend. I have a boyfriend at home. We said, no. Yeah, until Janet sent me the tape, and I listened to it, and I said, God, this sounds really good. But then... I hate to say this, I didn't know it was them playing on the tape. So, so it's that old thing again. Yes, yes, I admit it. I thought, <laughs> thought the same thing. <laughs> the Go-Go's were the first all-girl band to make it big. They are not hard rock. They are pop. They are cute. One does not use the word cute to describe a hard rocker. Just for you. One uses the word headbanger. That's what women rockers have been doing for years, banging their heads against the wall to gain acceptance. But if they do make it big, will they have groupies backstage like the big boys do? I think we're more protected by our road crew and stuff because we're girls. The guy groupies are more protected too. They don't want to hurt us. When you, you've seen, they're like, when you ask with them to. Yeah, yeah, but they won't. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. You've told me about the sex, which doesn't sound like there's a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, pretty much limited. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, drugs. Mm, we're pretty drug free. We're, drugs are stupid because you're just going to burn out. It's a cop out. Why not enjoy what's going on at the time? You know, otherwise, it ruins everything. And 
the most important thing for all of us is the live show. Rock and roll. Yeah. Rock and roll is what we live for, not the sex or the drugs. It's 1 a.m. Their gig at Hammerjacks in Baltimore is over, and Vixen is back on the bus for an all-night ride to New York. You started out faster than I've oh, ever heard. Yeah, you were like longer, sitting there too. Yeah. Everybody's going, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, God, now where am I going to go from here? And then I stop. <laughs> they sleep on the bus. It is just before Christmas. Stockings are hung. The boyfriends and one husband are elsewhere.